words don't convey the truth. The space does. Hey Canon guys, welcome back. Myth busting series. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. In this video, I want to talk about how the experience that is transmitted to others when we engage with others, what is responsible for that experience? So what I realized and what is Swamji sharing is that the space that we cherish makes what is makes the experience that is experienced happen by the other person so you might be using words you might be having a certain body language you might have you might you know generate certain emotions but these things don't directly are not directly responsible for the experience the person has in front of you it is the space from which you come we might not fully grasp it intellectually or sometimes we might be fooled but deep down we know there's always that experience you know some people you know you will just feel the space is not right um, it's going to be a very short video but it's also a way of saying that the words the body language all these things are not real the space is real space is real this, that's what i'm starting to realize is the space is real the words and all that yes they are they can they can allow the space to be conveyed but if somebody is not integrated if somebody is uh, is living a crooked life and not living by any principles the words he say will not impact the people in the way that they technically should because the right the space is not there so the space has to be there for the words or the body language or the emotions or whatever it is they convey the message that the inner space wants to convey end of the day the inner space decides what is going to be conveyed if you believe um let me think of an example. If you believe it is impossible to uh, Okay, let's do that. If you believe it's impossible for you to build a strong body or a big body, you believe that. But you still do a little bit of training and you talk to people about it you will see that you will not be able to move people to do a physical exercise. Because deep down, you don't believe it yourself. So that space gets transmitted. Actually, yes, that's good. Actually, every time we share something with people and it's not moving them, that means there is a part of the inner space which is not aligned. So we should always look into the inner space and see how to align it more and more. Our capacity to transform or to... to to shift the person in front of us depends on how authentic and how integrated we are to our inner space. But end of the day, it is the space. If you don't have the right space, you will not be able to move someone for anything. If you have the right space, you will be able to move people for anything. So it, it's all about the space ultimately. And for that, you need the completion. You need to have the full awareness of your inner space and you need to get rid of this life negative cognitions which make you cherish powerlessness. So that's what I want to share in this video. I'll see you guys soon, next video, Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda.